Hello friends, welcome to HTML Studio Studio. In the previous tutorial, we have created a HTML page with the name firstpage.html. I right click, say open with a notepad. In this tutorial, we are going to understand how browsers are going to interpret and execute your HTML page. I right click on firstpage.html page and say open with Say Firefox. When we open our HTML page in some browser, what browsers will do? Browsers are going to execute our HTML code from top to down like this step by step. When browser sees the opening HTML tag, they understand that here the HTML document begins. Then browser moves to the next line. It finds that there is an opening head tag. It understands that here the head section begins. Then it moves to the next line and it understands that here the title begins. From here to here, whatever I have written, I should set that as the title of the web page. Here the title ends. So what browser does? It takes this text and applies that or sets to the title of the web page. Then it moves to the next line. It finds that there is a closing head tag. It understands that here the head section ends. Then it moves to the next line. It finds that there is an opening body tag. And it understands here the body section begins. Then it moves to the next line. What it does? It takes each character that is present in this string. It displays them one by one in the browser. Then it moves to the next line. It finds that there is a closing body tag. It understands here the body section ends. Then the browser moves to the next line. It finds that there is a closing HTML tag and it understands here the HTML document ends. This is how the browser executes our code. Now we need to understand if we have more white spaces, how browser will interface them. And here I have written I HTML. Shut up. If I add more spaces like this, I am pressing the space bar to add more spaces. I save this. I, I refresh the page. Check out what happened. Nothing happened here. No thing. Why? If you have more than one white space, the browser are going to collapse all those spaces to only one space. That is how the browser interprets if you have more spaces. If I save, and refresh, take this. If I add more spaces here between HTML, I save this and come back and refresh. You can see that there is one space added between H and T. Why? Because here you have more than one space. Then what browser will do? It collapses all those spaces to only one space like this. Give one space there. Now, if I add one more text, let's say here I write I, H, E, M, L, the exclamation mark. Now, I think you are thinking like we are going to get high HTML on the browser here, on the next line. But, check out what happens if I save and refresh. I am getting high HTML just in front of the previous high HTML. Why? Browsers are going to ignore your enter key. Or a new line also. Now, what browser treats is it treats whatever you have from here to here a blank space. So you are having many spaces here. What browser does it collapses from here to here. All these spaces that you have are going to be collapsed to only one space. So the final result that is going to look like this, and the browser will display HTML exclamation mark one space ISTML exclamation mark on the browser window. This is how the code works. Take this another example. If I give a tab, I think you people are thinking I am going to get the output ISTML exclamation mark, one space, then a high, then few spaces, then HTML exclamation mark. Check out what happens if I save and refresh. No change. Why? Because if you press the tab, what actually you are doing? You are actually adding 
some phases and all those phases are going to be collapsed to only one space this is how the browser interface your white space that means if you have more than one blank space remember that the browser will collapse all the blank spaces to one blank space that is how it interface in the next tutorial we are going to understand how do we add spaces to the form how do we put a text in the next line how do guys have understood for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we are going to discuss more things so thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial keep learning keep coding keep sharing